how to sell in the DMs. This is a controversial strategy because I know some of you are still uncomfortable with reaching out to potential clients in the DMs. There are many ways to get clients online. But why are DMs so important? That's what we're gonna talk about today. And stay until the end because I'm gonna give you three tips for you to start using this strategy effectively. If we haven't met yet, I'm Karma Hunter, brand mentor and a conversion strategist. I help online coaches, consultants, and service providers build a pipeline of quality leads so that they never have to worry about where their next client is coming from with evergreen strategies. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to receive the notifications on the latest videos. I post weekly videos to make online marketing simple for online business owners. We're talking about how to sell in the DMs because in order to make a sale, we need to create a buyer's journey. And marketing means creating that buyer's journey from attraction to nurturing, to creating that demand and to converting into sales. The most important step to this journey is conversations. You need to have conversations in order to convert. And that's why DMs are the perfect place when it comes to online platforms to start those conversations. Through conversations, you're gonna start building that like and trust and nurture those leads personally so that you can convert them into clients. Conversations with potential clients is how you're going to build a pipeline. You can't automate your sales if you haven't validated your sales process through those conversations. If you haven't sold your offer multiple times through personal conversations, through DMs or sales calls, we don't recommend you to automate your sales process because it's not valid. Most social media platforms have multiple features. Each of these features are designed to have a different purpose in that buyer's journey. For instance, the reels, the short form videos are to attract more people. Um, the stories or lives are to nurture your audience and DMs are to convert. DMs are for that personal touch for you to start those conversations so that you can convert those leads into clients. Starting conversations through DMs is a great strategy to convert. I used to hate DMs and I would feel so uncomfortable to even start engaging in the DMs because I really didn't like someone DMing me and pitching me. It felt so salesy and icky. A lot of the times I wasn't even the right person to DM until my mentor showed me another approach. This approach shifted my entire mindset about DMing people. He simply told me not to ever pitch and just start conversations and build relationships in the DMs. So I was like, what do you mean? Just make friends? Like, how do I sell? And he was like, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that just yet. He told me that conversations are a way for me to understand my ideal client and learn how to speak their language so that I can build a pipeline by giving that value. This shifted everything because truly what I was supposed to do was to reach out to those people, ask questions, learn about them, learn about what problems they were having so that I could solve their problems, so that I could help them. And along the way, giving them valuable information and showing my value helped me build a pipeline. Here are three tips on how to start DM conversations on social media effectively. Tip number one, don't do unsolicited DMs. This is just like knocking on random people's doors or those telemarketers randomly calling you for something that is not even relevant to you. So you want to have a mutual connection, some type of a mutual place, some type of a mutual interest that you can start your DM with. And always talk about that connection when you DM them. Talk about how you found them, how you reached out to them. Is it because of a comment they made on your post? Is it because they liked one of your posts? Is it because you're in the same group or is it because 
you saw a comment that they made on a piece of content that you also love? Or is it because of something that they were talking about in their profile? There could be many ways of doing this. In next week's video, I'm gonna talk about how to start reaching out to people in the DMs so that you're not salesy. So make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get that notification when I post that video. Moving on to tip number two, do your research. Make sure to personalize your DM message. You don't wanna just copy and paste a generic script for everyone. You want to look at their profile, maybe look at their other social media profiles, see what type of content they're putting out, see what other interests they have so that you can personalize your DM for that showing that you're really interested in this person. You've done your due diligence. When you don't personalize your script, it's going to feel spammy regardless. Tip number three, the most important tip. Do not pitch, just ask questions. Ask questions to create a genuine connection. Ask quick questions to get to know this person. Ask questions to see what they're struggling with so that you can give them value and you can help them with what they're struggling. And until it calls out for it, do not pitch. Always lead with the value and ask meaningful questions. Let me know in the comments below which one of these tips resonated the most. And please ask me any questions you have about how to sell in the DMs.